Good morning, boys and girls. I give God thanks for another day. It's a beautiful day that we are a part of, and we want to give God thanks. This morning, we want to pray, so close your eyes. I'm going to pray. Father, we thank you, we praise you, we lift you up, we honor you, we exalt you. You are the greatest God. You are the only wise God, and we bless your name. We ask today that you will be with us, order our steps, lead and direct us, O oh God. I pray that you will lead in your own sweet way. I remember these boys and girls, cover them and their blood, bless them with all spiritual blessing. I thank you for your grace that you have given unto them. Your grace is greater than all our sins. And so we praise you, Lord, loving, kind, and powerful God, we praise you. And we lift you up. Lord, bless their parents. And, oh God, I ask that you lead them and you provide for them and make ways for them like no one else can. We thank you, Lord, that you are in control of today. There's nothing that is hid from you. Your eyes are on the sparrow and your watch is over us. Thank you, Lord, for your many, many blessings. Lead, oh God, and let your mighty and holy will be done. We swing them entirely into your care. Remember the other children who are home. Remember the parents, the different frustration that they go through, Lord. We ask that you will have mercy and provide. Thank you for your greatness and your loving kindness towards us every day. Amen. Let's say the Our Father prayer together, boys and girls. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Remember, boys and girls, that you are special, you are unique, and we must take care of ourselves, right? Okay, remember that we have been doing some Bible characters, right? So we're reading their stories just for you in the morning. And I want you to now sit back, relax, and know that you are going to hear another character in the Bible this morning, right? Okay, boys and girls, we'll be doing Lot. And Lot is found in Genesis 19. So, Lot was... Abraham's nephew. He had traveled to Canaan, Canaan with Abraham and Sarah, but he had settled in a place called Sodom, not far from the city of Gomorrah. The people of Sodom and Gomorrah were very wicked, and God decided to destroy them. But first, God sent true angels to Sodom. Lot invited them in, into his house, and the angel wanted, warned him to leave the city as if it was about to be destroyed. They led Lot, his wife, and their two daughters out of Sodom and ordered them not to look back. Suddenly, balls of fire and bur and burning stone rained down on Sodom and Gomorrah. Lot and his daughters hurried out, hurried on to safety. But his wife took one last look behind her. She had destroyed the angel. She had disobeyed the angel and was turned into a pillar of salt so here is lot and his two daughters so they were they alone saved so they hurried out they were told not to look back and so they did not look back and for that reason they were saved now boys and girls we need to obey the lord you see the fire hear the fire burning up the land right so when God tells us one thing, we need to obey the Lord, right? And who was Lot again? Abraham's. Was Lot? Abraham's nephew, right? And so, 
This morning I want to say to you, remember to be kind and be good. Always remember to say thank you, please, may I, and good morning. And remember to tell mommy and daddy that you love them, right? Have a good morning, boys and girls. Now we are moving into our lesson, right? Now what, can you tell me what day was yesterday? Think about it. Okay. Okay, boys and girls, today is Wednesday. Today, yesterday was Wednesday. Today is Thursday. So, today is Thursday. Tomorrow will be what? Okay. Tomorrow will be Friday. So, yesterday was Wednesday. Today is Thursday. Tomorrow will be Friday. Can you tell me what month are we in? Okay, think about it. Okay, boys and girls, we are in the month of May. And how old is May today? Eh, today, anybody know how old May is today? Think about it. All right. So, May is 28 days old. May is 28 days old. And we are in the month, the month May. And we are in the year 2020. What are we in? The year 2000. So Thursday, May 28, 2020. Very good, boys and girls. Today, we'll be talking about was and were. What we'll be talking about? Was and were. Say it for me. W-A-S, was, W-E-R-E, were so I want you to understand that okay we use was where so the word was and the word where were not where sorry were to talk about some events persons or events persons in time frame which has already past so we are talking about them in the past right all right so we talk when we use was we talk about events or persons in time past so it has already gone so you are talking about it based on that when you use was and were was and were so was is used with these these words right i he she it so when you talk about was it is talking about um one thing or one person whenever you're talking about was you are talking about one thing or one person now these are the words that normally comes with was and you have exception you have i so i was he was she was it was all right now we're moving over to were were is used with these words we you they so were talks about more than one so let's make the sentence now we were right going to school and you can finish it you can make it in your own way you were they were so what are some of the common words that are used with were we you and they when you use the word were it is talking about more than one so if you're talking about the boys you would say were because it is more than one boys if you are talking about he you would say because you're talking about one you would say he was so always remember that when you have was in a sentence it has to be talking about one thing person our person where is used to talk about more than one all right boys and girls we're gonna do some sentences with you are you ready remember them now that was and were is used to talk about something that has uh, has already past so we are talking about them in the past tense 
and we use was and were and they have different words that work with them normally so some of the words that use it was are what again boys and girls i he she it and was talk about one person animal place or thing and um were talks about more than one person so what are the three common words that use with were we you they all right very good boys and girls okay so here are the words the, the number one i was sad so what's the word there was i was sad how many person are you talking about one i says one all right she was happy how many person are you talking about boys and girls one she was happy all right next one now boys and girls she was hungry how many persons are you talking about one she was hungry it's one person let's go again it was small how many person are you how many things are you talking about one it says it's one all right we when you see we what will come next were sad it's talking about more than one when you see we here it's saying it's more than one we were sad you were happy you were happy all right they were quiet how many persons are you talking about more than one they were quiet all right let's go again let's read with me i was sad me you're talking about one person i was sad how many person was sad boys and girls i one person she was happy how many person are you talking about boys and girls one and it's she was happy she was hungry how many person are you talking about boys and girls one she was hungry all right it was small how many it was small one thing now moving on we when you see the word we it is telling that it's more than one right we were sad you were happy how many person are you talking about all right more than one you you all were happy right they were quiet all right so they were quiet more than one now we're moving over to some activities all right now you are gonna fill in the missing what is it that you're gonna put there the missing word right i dash reading how many person was reading boys and girls think about it good man i am waiting okay so it's one person you're talking about so what are you going to put there was all right so let's read it now i was reading i was reading now come now she dash sleeping what am i going to put there was our were how many person you're talking about she was very good she was sleeping her baby what would you put here crying all right think about it okay boys and girls so very good her baby was crying one person her baby was crying next one what dash you doing so you're gonna tell me if it is was or were which of it you think what dash you crying all right i have a little mistake there 
asked why she did there. Why were you what? What are you doing? Doing. What were you doing? Alright. Now this one. The dash. Was the the boys dash swimming. Now how many boys are you talking about? Huh? How many boys? More than one. So it is were. So the boys were swimming. What dash you doing? What were you doing? Alright. The book dash on the table. How many book are you talking about? So you have to look to see what are the things, right? It's specific. The book dash on the table. How many book? How many book was on the table? One. The book was on the table. All right. Where? So the question is asked. Where dash you? What would you put there? Where were? Where were you? So let's go back. I was reading one person reading she was sleeping one person sleeping her baby was crying how many babies her baby was crying all right what were you doing uh, the boys were swimming what were you doing the book was on the table. How many book? One. Where were you? All right. So these are the words, and I'll be sending you some work after. Remember, boys and girls, that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. You can do what? All things through Christ who strengthens you. Remember now that we always seek to try to complete our task and you have a great day today, alright?